people, people, people. Uh, we back. We back. It's the days of this in the plug sports. The days of this in the plug sports. First thing first, it's time for the kumbaya moment. Kumbaya moment. Push the red button and give me some likes. This is all free. Just push the button and give me some likes. Okay? Okay, plug sports, thank you. Let's get with it. Man, you know, the shock of the sports world this weekend, Andrew Lux retires. But here's the here's the issue. Why y'all so mad that man retired, man? The man said he can't do it, he can't do it. Man, what's wrong with you people? Like, y'all mad that he don't want to play. Man, you motherfuckers, man, you people like, something wrong with some people. Like, if he can't play, he can't play. Man, if he get out there and play and stink up the place, Y'all got something to say. The man say he can't take no more hits. He can't take no more injuries. Man, leave that man alone, man. Like, you act like he doing something to you because he can't play. He can't play. He can't play. That's it. And that's all. What we really should be upset about is what they doing up there in Washington. <laughs> yeah, that part of Washington. But I'm talking about the Redskins right now. How the hell you going to start Casey Kim? Ain't no producer in my ear. Ain't no fact check in the other. What's his name? Casey Keenum or whatever. Man, if you, man, listen. Jay Gruden, this your last year. This your last year. You got Dwayne Hatton, first round draft pick, sitting there, and you gonna start Keenum. Psh, come on, man, what you, what you, I don't understand the logic behind. I don't wanna hear that BS about Oh, he need more rep. He need more experience. The only way he get it is to play, man. Casey he ain't leaving the Redskins nowhere. If I was in that locker room, I'd be disturbed. That's what people should be disturbed about. This dumbass decision, um, groove making. You know what I mean? It don't even make no sense, man. Then this man ain't uh, he's sitting the way asking down to start some Casey Keenum. Come on, man. That man ain't produced since he been in the league, man. Let that young boy play and let the Redskins do something. Well, let's go back to Andrew Luck. Man, listen. The man, 29 years old, he took a lot of injuries, man. He took a lot of injuries. And if y'all don't understand what's going on in that, listen to that play out of Alabama. I think his name is Ron Leroy. Ain't no producer in my ear, Payne. There's a running back, I think. He crying out for help from the NFL because he says his mind ain't right. He crying out for help. What, he got to go kill 20, 30 people to get the help? He's asking for help, and they give him a lot of paperwork. See, see, this is the shit I'm talking about. He's crying out for help. Ain't no producer in my ear. Ain't no fact checking the other. So if I'm calling his name wrong, I'm sorry, but I think his last name, Payne, used to play for Alabama, came in the league, did all right. If I'm not mistaken, it might be Leroy, maybe Rob Lane, Payne, but... Regardless, Google it if you don't know the story. This man fighting for his life. He says his brain ain't right. And the NFL giving this man a bunch of paperwork. Man, look. That don't make no kind of sense, no kind of way. NFL, help this man for something happen. Help that man for something happen. Y'all always support that negative stuff, man. Somebody get that word out about this player that need help. Ain't no producer in my ear. Ain't no fact checking of him. But I believe his last name, Payne, ex Alabama Crimson Tide ball player. And the NFL pushing paperwork. Man, miss us with that, man. Help that ex player before something really, really bad happens. Andrew Luck, man, I salute you, man. Like, the man really loves sports, and you can tell the man plays sports like a child. He got that enthusiasm. He, he's very enthusiastic, like a child. Like, this man really loves to play the game. And it ain't really about money with him like it is with some of you players. Like, it, he really, really enjoyed the sports. And if he can't do it, he can't do it. I don't understand what y'all booing him for and what y'all mad about. Because this man can't go. What, he about to hurt himself, man? man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Can't go, he can't go. Offer him y'all blessings and let that man go do what he got to do with his life. Wow. Well. Well, we don't see what Antonio Brown do. 
his second grievance was turned down. Let's see where it go from here. Cause I'm really tired of that nonsense about some helmet, man. Come on, man. Everybody in the league playing with the helmet, but you got to be a prima donna. You know, you got to be the spotlight. You got to be the one that, come on, man. Come on, man, play football. Or, like you say, if you don't want to play, retire. Simple as that. If you don't want to play, retire. All this, man, I want to play with this helmet, man, this, that. And listen, let me tell y'all something. Say, for instance, the NFL let Antonio Brown play with that helmet, right? And they've already did scientific studies say this is a better helmet, less injury prone, things of that nature. And Anthony, I'm sorry, Anthony, Antonio Brown get hurt. What's the first thing Antonio Brown and his crew gonna do? What's the first thing they gonna do, man? We all know they're gonna go sue the NFL, man. The hell, man? Like, he gonna sue the NFL. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. Okay. I'm with them with this one. Come on, man. They doing everything they can to help you not get injured, not in the head blows, and you like, I don't care. I want to play with this. Man, shut up, man. Sit down, man. Miss us with that. And for that, you get Plug Sports a big shut up for the day. Because it don't make no sense, man. Tom Brady. I mean, everybody in the league playing with the helmet that they say is better for them as far as health reason, safety wise, and you coming with this nonsense. Man, sit down, shut up, man. Real talk. Now, let's keep it moving. Man, listen. If y'all don't know who Tevin Farmer is, man, y'all need to Google him. Man, with him and Tank Davis fight, that gonna be a good fight, man. Y'all probably more familiar with Tank Davis out of Baltimore. Tevin Farmer is from Philly. Look, this dude a real fighter, man. He a real fighter. Like, don't sleep on him, man. The man got, like I told y'all previously, he got that Pernell Whitaker style with him. This ain't no pushover. Now, me personally, I think Tank gonna win. But I ain't sleeping on that boy. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's gonna be a good one. I wanna see them get it on. And they got real hate for each other. Like, just real street hate. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna call it street hate, but they don't got no love for each other. They don't got no love for each other. This is gonna be a good one. And Andy Riz has decided, okay, give me a little bit more. Give me a little bit more in that bag, and I'm gonna go to Saudi Arabia and beat him again. So he gonna go over there in Saudi Arabia and beat Dum Dum Joshua again. And I don't wanna hear about why, man, why I'm disrespecting Anthony Joshua. I'm just with Anthony for one reason. I'm disrespecting Anthony Joshua for one reason. He ain't conduct himself like, like I thought he would after that loss. At first he did, at first he did, but now he acting like a cold sucker, man. Like you lost, man, like simple as that. And for y'all to say y'all were gonna take that man to court and sue him, y'all would have really looked bad because that means you would have got the belt not in the ring, but through some legal maneuvering. Come on, man. Like we nobody would have respected that. Yeah, y'all would have had the belt, but it wouldn't have been honorable. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Hearns got you doing sucker shit. Like that Eddie Hearn got you, like you ain't no real fighter. Or uh, if you don't fight, if we gonna go to court and uh, we're gonna get the belt that way. <laughs> That's how you say him. Who gonna get a respect a fighter that didn't didn't get the belt in the ring? Man, you gotta get the belt in the ring. Like like come on. But now that uh, 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 Andy Rea say he gonna fight him out there, okay. Let's get it on. Hey, listen, listen, straight from plug four. I got Riz beating him again. Mm -hmm. So let's look for that. Uh trying to think of what else I'm looking forward to. Man, I really, 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 really think. Wilder is going to crush Tyson Fury next time they fight. Some just telling me Wilder going to crush him. Like, truth be told, Tyson Fury got better boxing ability than Wilder. He really does. He got better boxing ability. But the thing that Wilder got, <laughs> the thing that Wilder got is one thing. Man, he got the power. <laughs> Man, he got the power. He got the power. He got the power. See, Tyson will pick Wild up pot. He'll pick him apart. Round one, round two, round three. But once Wilder hits Tyson Fury, 
Man, let me tell y'all something. He coming tumbling down, man. <laughs> he gonna tumble down. Like, like, like real talk, he gonna tumble down. Like, Tyson Fury could be winning the whole fight more than likely gonna be ahead by points. But I guarantee you, once Wilder lay them gloves on his chin, done deal. Done deal. It just take one. It just take one. Remember that. Like, like, that's why I say Wilder probably win. Like, I'm not, I mean. Technical wise, skill wise, I think Tyson Fury is a better fighter. But I just think, you know, it's 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 it's, it's, it's styles, his matchups. And I just think Tyson Fury defense is not up to par. And I think Wild will catch him and we'll knock him out. Simple as that. We'll catch him and knock him out. Simple as that. It's hard to go round for round and not get hit, man. I'm telling you, Sean. It's hard to go round for round and not get hit, man. So I'm looking for Wilder to knock Tyson Fury, <laughs> knock him out. And then uh, I still want to see Wilder fight Anthony Joshua. It's just something I want to see. But I don't think Anthony Joshua, after he take this loss, we won't be talking about him too much no more. I think that's, uh, I think that's uh, <laughs> going to be a wrap. Oh, and I also said I want to see uh, Regis Progress fight, uh, uh, what's his name? About nothing. <laughs> Adrian Brown. Like, like, really? He, uh... I don't know, man. He like a like a like a movie actor or something, man. He like a I don't know, man. He like somebody you want to laugh and joke with. I don't I don't see no professionalism in him. I don't think he could be none of the top fighters. Real talk. I don't. I think he can generate public interest, but actual fighting and winning belts, nah. I think he done, man. I think he done. Now he will he'll, he'll he'll draw the attendance, right? He'll drive that. Like like people come to see him and. He, he, he make people interested in the fight. But I'm talking about getting in that ring and winning. Nah, I ain't, I ain't got to have I don't think he can be none of the top five fighters in the world. In his uh, 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 weight bracket. Nah, none of them. None of them. I don't care who it is. I don't think he'd be none of them. Because he don't got what I told y'all before. That give it all. He ain't got that give it all, man. It's not there. He want to play. So that's how I feel about him. So... That's, that's about it, man. I'm, I'm disturbed at the Redskins still making bad decisions. Dumb J. Groove. But this is more or less, I'm disturbed at everybody going at the boy Andrew Luck, man. He can't take it. He can't take it no more. NFL need to address that issue with that man talking about his mind ain't right. Before there's something terrible happening, then everybody looking at him funny. He reaching out for help. And y'all talking about paperwork. Man, ain't nobody got time for no damn paperwork. Get that man some help, man. Like, like this, this sports world, come on, man. Like, like, dude pleading for help. Get that man for some help. Well, that's a little short recap of what I feel was going on in the sports world this weekend. Just been plug sport. Y'all know what to do. Get back with us. And I'm out.